Hello, I am Axel MC131, and welcome to part three of the procedural rocketry tutorial series. Uh, and today we are going to be launching a rocket. Uh, well, first we've got to build it, of course, but um, we'll get into that. So, uh, make, if you have your, all your parts from the um, previous crafting tutorial, and you're also going to need three regular items. These are just perfectly normal, not custom crafted. You can get just regular vanilla items. Paper, redstone torch, flint and steel. Uh, and you will need these. These are your command parts, basically. And they can, they are how you are going to control your rocket, launch your rocket, and then command it while it's in the air. So, first things first, we're going to put a launch pad down. There we go. Now, the way that building rockets works is that you just throw them on the launch pad and it will build them from the bottom up as you place them. So, normally, if you want to start a rocket, you would start an engine and you're just going to take your large rocket engine here and you're just going to throw it by pressing Q and it will place it down on the launch pad. And then in the next part you place, it'll place it one up. <clears throat> so, as well as an engine, we're going to need a fuel tank. There we go. Uh, let's put, oh, let's put, uh, you can put stabilizing fins on. Stabilizing fins won't actually put it on the block above, it'll put it on the last block you placed, which is quite neat. So if we just chuck those, there we go. Now, let's put on another fuel tank. And then we'll put, oh, let's put our command capsule on the top there. Think. There we go. And the command capsule will always have the little extra fence on top, but you can place other blocks on top and it'll put them in the place of that fence. Uh, however, if you then remove them, so say I wanted to put something else on, maybe I want a stage separator between there, just throw the undo tool and it will take off the last part. Take off the top part. You can only build up, and I think the height limit is about 14. 14 blocks high before it starts getting iffy. It says, uh, no, uh, this is not flyable. Um, but yeah, so let's just put a stage separator in there, there we go, and then put the command capsule on top, there we go. So, here's a pretty simple rocket. Now, before you actually launch this rocket, there's a few things that you need to do, which are quite important. And that's what you have this paper for. The paper is basically your report card. So, once you have set up your rocket, you can see on the right all the stats still say that it has zero fuel, zero thrust, zero weight. So you're going to want to just trigger a reset by throwing a piece of paper. There we go, updating rocket statistics, and it will update all the stats on the right there. You can see it now has 20 fuel, 18 thrust, 10 weight, 2 stages, and a thrust to weight ratio of 1. Uh, now that's just ba um, some basic stuff here. So if we launch this, it will say it is able to launch. Now, there's a few things that we can do to make it not able to launch. For example, if I just do that, and I update it, you always want to update it before you launch, um, because if you make any changes, it will rely on the th anything you did before you updated. So if I now try and launch it, it's going to say invalid rocket design. Rocket has no command capsule. Okay, so let's just grab our command capsule back. And I should point out, by the way, when you use the undo tool, you don't get it back. You don't get the part back. So uh, you want to be quite careful. So let's just chuck that back up there. There we go. And there's a few other things that you can do to make your rocket run. For instance, if you do not have a powerful enough engine, or you have too much weight on top, it will say it doesn't have enough thrust. And you may need to consider using uh, a more powerful engine or more engines. Uh, that is an interesting um, factor here that um, you can actually stack engines on top, and then have a bit of fuel on top of them, and it won't have a problem with that. It does total thrust, not stage thrust. Uh, it will also uh, give you an error if you do not have any fuel tanks. It'll say it has no fuel. Uh, or if you do not have an engine at the bottom, it'll tell you that you need to have an engine as the first part. And uh, if you do not have any parts at all on the launch pad, it'll say in red, detected no parts on the launch pad. But I'll let you guys experiment with that. So, we have a rocket here. Let's just make sure we've got those updated. There we go. And now, uh, yeah, let's launch this rocket. So to launch a rocket, all you've got to do is grab a flint and steel and throw it on the ground. And it should accept it and then launch what if it is a valid rocket. So. There we go. Rocket design accepted and ready to launch. Starting countdown. Three, two, one, launch. And there we go. We have lift off. And that will now fly into the sky. Now you want to have your redstone torch ready and watch the chat because a message is going to appear. God, that's the house. That says, there you go. Now safe to decouple capsule. Drop a redstone torch to transmit separation command. So I'm just going to drop that. Capsule decoupled. Parachute deployed successfully. And there we go. 
So the capsule that we launched on top of that is now returning to Earth by parachute. And it will slowly drop down. It does tend to get a bit glitchy if you go out of range of it, but it will continue to move. Most of the time it will auto-update. There you go, it's just reappeared a bit lower down. That phantom one up there will disappear if you go near it. But this will come down and hit the ground. Bink! Capsule has touched down safely and can now be recovered. And the capsule is the only part that you will get back uh, once you launch a rocket. The rest of it is lost. Uh, that phantom there is getting annoying. Hang on a minute. We vanish. There we go. Cool. So, uh, as you can see, it's very easy once you have the parts down to actually build a rocket that works. So I'll show you a few examples of some of the um, errors you can get. For instance, at the moment, if I just go and uh, update this and try and launch, it will give me just about every error message there is. Detected no parts on the launch pad, has no fuel, not enough thrust, and no command capsule. Uh, however, if I start with something like this, so if I throw a fuel tank on, and then we update the stats, and then we try and launch, it'll say, must have an engine at the bottom, and then not enough thrust and no command capsule. So, let's just remove that again. Uh, now, as I said um, in the overview video, part one, this is entirely a proof of concept. The rockets are not rideable, although I'm planning on making a, another, a third command that may make that happen. Um, and how you make the rocket, as long as it is allowed to launch, will not affect how it flies. So if, you, if I only had one fuel tank on that part, even though it says it's got less fuel, it won't actually change the way the rocket flies. The only things that you can do with the rocket once they're in the air is trigger a separation. And if you don't, they will just fly up to block limit and then stop. So this um, system entirely focuses on the building of the rockets. Um, but you can make some cool things. So if I take this, um, all of the, the uh, parts down here, there we go, get those out of the way, give me all the parts. You can build a variety of things. So I have a couple of um, basic ones that I like to do. The smallest one that you can um, pretty much do is have a small rocket engine here, a single fuel tank, and then a command capsule. Uh, let me just update that, like that which just has a thrust to weight ratio of 1 because the small rocket engines don't have very much thrust. The uh, large rocket engines, I think, have three times as much. Um, but that's one of the simple ones that you can do, and that will work. But if I just remove that, there we go. And you have to be careful about using the, um, this uh, on the block above one of these because they are a hopper and they will grab the part. Okay, there we go. But one of my favorite ones to build is uh, a very simple um, one here. It uses a bit of everything. And it's not too complex, so we're going to start with the large rocket engine, fuel tank, and fins on that. Then we're going to have another fuel tank here, and another one above that. And at this point it gets a bit high, so you may need to get some blocks. Now, because I am on survival, I can just go and dig some dirt. There we go. Doesn't matter. I'm on survival. Get some dirt. We're just going to climb up here. Okay, so now we've got a good height. So we've got three fuel tanks there. We're going to put a stage separator there. And we're going to have uh, an orbital insertion stage here. Those of you who have played Kerbal Space Program will understand exactly what's going on here. So we've got a small engine, and then a fuel tank, and then the command capsule on top. Nice. Get back down. Right. And then we're going to grab a paper and flint and steel. Uh, incidentally, in case that wasn't um, obvious what was going on there, um, when you place um, parts for the rocket, it places, it'll places it try and place them from near the top of the rocket. So if you get a rocket a certain height, like if I tried to place another part from the ground, it won't work. It'll just sit there on the ground and not do anything. So you have to get up to the top of the rocket and throw stuff on. But that's not too hard if you're in survival, like, you, like I just did. I just pill it up. Anyway, so let's go and update the stats. There we go. 40 fuel, 24 thrust, 15 weight, and you can see now that we have 24 thrust, and that's a combination of that engine and that engine. So the fact that even though they're on different stages, it just calculates the total thrust and the total weight together. Um, so the flight model is not as realistic, but um, the, cr the creation and commanding is, is supposed to be the focus of this. So anyway, let's launch another rocket. Up 
liftoff. Now we'll go ahead and decouple that capsule. And um, it's going to create another phantom one. Lovely. Oh, there we go. It vanished. And now it'll come down. Now they will always come down about 30 blocks to the east of where they launch from. I tried using the spread players um, system to randomize where they spawn, where the capsule spawned in, but it didn't work because it automatically places it on the ground, which is a bit difficult. There we go. Capsules touched down and can now be recovered. And yeah, that's pretty much all there is to it. Um, procedural rocketry in Minecraft 1.8. It is in two commands, and both of these will um, be in the. They'll have links to the paste bin links in the description. Um, and I hope that you guys can find some fun in this. And sh if you want to um, try and build some slightly crazy looking rockets, it's not easy because you can only build them upwards. So there are very limited um, customization possibilities at the moment, and there's only six parts to choose from. Uh, and I think you can only build up to about 14 blocks. But yeah, that's um, what I have been working on. This is two days worth of work, so I really hope you guys enjoy this. Uh, and do try it out and um, tell me what you think. Um, but yeah, guys, thank you very much for tuning for tuning into this uh, little mini series tutorial thingy. <laughs> um, I hope you have seriously enjoyed this, and I'll see you next time.